you're dumb, but you feel so smart Cause that's what mama's supposed to say Look both ways when you cross the street Keep a steady line and keep your feet straight And everything will fall in line Yeah, I've heard that lie too But what you gonna do when the devil comes looking for you? What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome. Today we're going to explore a little bit. We're going to go to the emo world. Now this band been around since I can remember. They got, I know some songs. I know Sugar We're Going Down and I know, didn't they make that song? Dance, dance. Or that's someone else. That is them. And that's it. I really don't know much. I know that they used to make the singer stand way in the back behind the drummer and have Pete Wentz right up front on every out like magazine cover and shit. I never saw that where they just try to like hide the singer. <laughs> it's crazy. I know he was pissed off. Guys, go try to find a magazine cover where the singer was up front in this band. That's fucked up. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna get so much shit for what I just said, but it's true. Wait a minute, do I like a Fall Out Boy song? I'm in the winter moon, dreaming of spring now. Burning myself down, burning myself down, burning. I feel like something. This is good. This is good. It's hard. It's like there's so much going on that it's hard to get it all in one listen. Like this is definitely detailed as fuck. Like their band sounds big. How many people are in the band? Four? It sounds like there's so much going on. In a good way. Right down the middle, yeah. The stars are the same as ever. I don't have the guts to keep it together. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since Maroon 5, like, started making, like, poppy rock shit, like, every other band started doing that, too. Now, that might sound like a stretch, but I think it's true. It's like, Maroon 5 kind of was rock on the first album, then they got more and more, like, poppy, and then every band started doing it. I could be wrong. I know that's gonna sound crazy. Well, let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you think is the band that started that, like, pop, rock thing like this where it sounds like that dancey maroon five sound who do you think started that i'm saying maroon five Obviously, this is more detailed and deeper than Maroon 5 type shit, but same idea. That's a real good melody. It's it's not like I've heard him sing before. He's usually doing like that. <laughs> I heard one song and I'm judging it. But that's how I like think he sings. I guess I never thought like they probably do have other kinds of songs than just the couple I heard. Like, they're not a one trick pony. That's hot. Like a sledgehammer to a disco ball. Like a sledgehammer to a disco ball. 
He said, I think I've been going through it, and I've been putting your name to it. You're the reason I'm going through it. I like that. I put your name to it. Is that Pete Wentz with the long hair? That's not real hair. Let me know, does he really have long hair? And once again, I was right. The singer's not in the video, but P. Wentz is. God, I, I kill myself. Is the singer going to show up? Let's see. Either way, most times the singer would be the main one in the video. It's weird. How did he get so big over the singer? Because girls think he's hot? That's crazy. That is why. If I was gay, I'm not gonna lie, I would try to go for this thing. You were the sunshine of my lifetime. What would you trade the pain for? I'm not sure. In another life, you were my babe. In another life, you were the sunshine of my lifetime. What would you trade the pain for? I'm not sure. I used to. He kind of looks like the singer from Hoobastank, Neil. That's funny. He transformed into the singer from Hoobastank. Oh, I used to be a go-getter. I wonder if his hair is really long. Is his hair long now? He wins. Long in his video. Never thought I would see that. That song's hot, dude. I can't say that shit's bad at all. I was right, though. The singer is not there. <laughs> Even in the videos. Well, that was good. Definitely intrigued to check out more of their stuff. So I hope people watch this. Because if they don't, I won't want to do it. But I'll probably do it on my own time. It was detailed. Had a lot of different parts. Didn't get boring. It was catchy. I liked a lot of the lines in the song. Like, I used to be a go-getter. And now I'm a no-hitter. <laughs> he didn't say that. But it was popping. We about to go out to the club. And listen to Fallout Boy. Alright, guys. I'll see you. I'm not really going to the club. I'm going to the kitchen. Kill some roaches. <laughs>